Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica videos. My name is Faraz. Today I'm gonna show you how to do bidirectional replication in IDR. Basically IDR replicates DML as well as DDL changes from source to target database. But this bidirectional feature replicates only DML changes from source to target and from target to source simultaneously. So today's agenda is we'll see how uh, this bidirectional application works, how it replicates DML changes between two databases in both the directions simultaneously. So let's move to the IDR first. So here it is my console. So my server manager is already up and running. So let's connect my console to the server manager. Okay. So I'm going to create a new config for this bidirectional replication. Say config underscore bidirectional. Okay. So here, let me put my source credentials. See password. connect so it's connected now target is mf underscore tgt password connect okay so now my both source and target databases are connected from idr so before moving let's let's go to the database and create two tables in both source schema and as well as target schema. So let me create a new table here. So let's give it a name table underscore src column. Let's say it is number. Add one more column. Let's say it is varchar2. Okay. So my table table underscore src is created. So let's move to the target schema and create one more table there. So my target schema is MF underscore TGT. So let me create one table here. Say it is table underscore TGT. And my column is number. The other column is RCR2. Okay. So here I have created the tables in both the schemas. So let's move to the IDR now. So here, so schema is MF underscore SRC. Target schema is MF underscore TGT. So you can see my tables are here, table underscore SRC and table underscore TGT. Let's map them. It's QL map, okay. So let's save them. Yes, we have to enable supplemental logging for it to capture the changes. Okay. Do you want to run? Yeah. We say yes to the idea recovery. Okay. So let's let's run the initial sync now to sync both my source and target. So it succeeded. So you can see here no rows are transferred because my tables are empty so close so in bidirectional application this configuration I have created for source to target replication but in bidirectional I have I need to create one more table which would replicate the changes from target to source so here I'm going to the file option here's option generate reverse configuration so I have to create a reverse configuration for which the source would be my target table and the target would be my source table so let's say it is config underscore bidirectional underscore reversed okay so here it shows that it's it's created but make sure this bidirectional replication does not support TDL capture can see here okay close so here my other reverse config is also created and source is my MF underscore TGT and my target schema is MF underscore SRC 
config. So both are both configs are the worst of each other. So now I'm gonna save it. Enable supplemental logging for all the columns. Okay. Yes. Okay. So here my two configs are ready. So now let's go to my first config config underscore bidirectional okay so here one more thing I need to do is this SCN I need to copy and put it to my reverse config So why I'm putting this SCN here is to keep the SCN same so that applier both the appliers would start from the same point. Saved. So my next step would be now to create schedule one schedule for my config underscore bidirectional and one schedule for my config underscore reverse bidirectional. So Let's create a new schedule. Let's say schedule underscore by direct config. Okay. Enable schedule. I'm gonna run this schedule in a continuous mode. So let's add the DOS extract. Other one send file. And the third one apply. So task is created. Run is continuous. Okay, let's save it. So schedule created and it's running continuously. Let's add one more schedule. Schedule and score by direct underscore reverse. Select the config. Okay, run it in continuous mode, enable schedule, add the tasks, extract, okay, send file, okay, and the third one is apply, okay, so now my schedule is ready, save it. So here you can see my schedules are running in a continuous mode, so one schedule is for my config underscore bidirectional and the other one is for config underscore bidirectional underscore reversed so these uh, schedules would be continuously be running and it will replicate changes from source to the target as well as from target to the source simultaneously so now let's let's make some changes in our database so I'm going to my source schema where's my table table underscore src Okay, it's open already. So you can see it's still empty. So I'm gonna insert some records in it. Say one. Mm, Steve. One more record. Lara. Okay. So I've inserted two records. So my schedules are already running. Let's see if they are replicated on the target. So here my target table is table underscore t. So here it is. You can see that both the inserts have been replicated to the target. But the best part is now we have to check if we make any changes in the target table if they are able to if IDR is able to replicate it to the source or not. So this bidirectional feature is for that only. So here I'm gonna insert one record in my target table. Say John insert it so let's see if it's been replicated on the source so here it is my source table let me refresh yes it was replicated so inserts are being replicated even for source to target and from target to source so <coughs> let's check if update works or not so here I'm kind of one record say it is stone save it let's check 
like if it is replicated on target or not target table refresh refresh not yet taking time yes so now it's it's updated on the target also so let's do one update from target let's say it is wrong save it let's check it on the source wrong alone is updated so one more DML we can check here. Uh, let's let's delete one record. Okay. Let's go to the target table and see if the record has been deleted or not. See, it's been deleted. So that's how bidirectional works. If we do any DML changes at source or at target, it replicates simultaneously in both the directions so that's how this feature works so that's all for this video for any feedbacks we would really love to hear from you and you may write to us on support videos at the rate of informatica.com or twitter.com slash info support thank you